My name is Gabby Garcia, and my major applied research project is on mystery science. Please sit back and listen and learn on how mystery science, which is an online science program, is a benefit for students from grades kinder through fifth grade and how to use it in your classroom. Let's get started on learning about mystery science what is mystery science? Mystery science is an online science curriculum that is aligned with the next generation science standards. Mystery science provides ready-made science mysteries for elementary school students. Each lesson is engaging and fun. It is, contains a central mystery, discussion questions, supplemental reading, and a hands-on activity. Mystery Science provides a large number of ready-made science lessons from subjects of biology to astronomy to geology. Teachers select the lesson they would like to use and simply hit play. Mystery Science was started by two longtime friends, Doug Peltz and Keith Schacht. Doug was a master classroom teacher, a science department head, and the creator of an original science curriculum that made science the most popular subject at his school. Keith Schack, the CEO, started and sold three technology companies, was a product manager at Facebook and a TED speaker. Let's take a look at Mystery Science webpage. Here on the homepage of Mystery Science, you find two tabs on the top that makes this website easily to navigate. You have lessons and mini lessons. We will start with lessons. To the left of this page, you will find it organized by grade level from kindergarten to fifth grade. I will focus on third grade at this time. To the right of your grade level, you will find a planning guide and the next generation state standards aligned to each lesson. Here you have the option of downloading and editing or just printing the already made pacing guide. Mystery Science recommends teaching the mysteries within each unit in the order they are presented. However, the units can be taught in any order. Each unit is broken into three branches of sciences, life science, physical science, and earth sciences. Now let's go back to the third grade units and we will be focusing on invisible forces, which is a physical science. You see there are five mysteries. Like it's stated before, it is recommended that you go through the mysteries in order. Each mystery has time for exploration an activity and optional extras. In the extras, there is an assessment for each mystery. Let's take a look at mystery two, what makes bridges so strong. Viewing the activity list of supplies will help you get the materials you will need for the activity. Some activities like this one you will already have the materials. Others, you may have to purchase a few items. Or you can ask for donations. Now, if you are worried about your knowledge on the given topic, Doug will give you tips on how to prepare you for the video before you present it to the students. Another great feature is the option that allows you to send email to parents, letting them know what their child will be learning and something they can do to help support their child with the topic. Let's start the mystery. Hey, it's Doug. Today, I wanna to tell you a true story about a place right here in this picture and about a guy whose name was Charles Ellis. Charles built something right in this spot. And what he built is world famous. You'll see by the end of the mystery that you'll probably recognize it. 
and we will stop it right there. As you can see, there is various slides. There are explorations of three of eight. So one idea we had, it gives you time in the back, I'm sorry, to discuss how could you keep a bridge like this from sagging. You give students time to discuss with each other because engineers get ideas from others. And so they're able to discuss and collaborate with each other. And then you go through each slide and there's always time for discussions. And then here is uh, the help for building the bridge, but it does not um, tell the student how to do it. Here is a video of my second and third graders discussing about what makes a bridge strong. At the end of the mystery, students explored for themselves what makes the bridge strong. Here is a video of my combination class of second and third grade graders creating their bridge. The learning doesn't end when their bridge holds 20 pennies. It continues as you facilitate the learning by just asking, how can you make it stronger to hold more? They learn as engineers, you are always collaborating and learning from others to make something stronger. Why is your bridge holding up longer, stronger? What are the, what is this called right here? This part? The what? How many pennies are there? 32. Hey, now try to make it where it holds more. 32. So as you can see, uh, the teacher is just the facilitator and the students collaborate with each other as they build more, a uh, bigger and stronger bridge. And all they got was two pieces of paper. There are also mini lessons that come with mystery science. And let's take a look at the mini lessons. So mini lessons are some short videos that students have asked. For example, can animals get a sunburn? Doug creates the videos and answers these questions and they're usually five minutes or less. These mini lessons come with a writing prompt to extend the learning. Mystery science does come with a cost. The cost varies from a school membership for the first year uh, and then a renewal to district membership, classroom membership, homeschool membership, and the first year is, as you can see, uh, for district is $499. So regular price is $1,499. So after the first year, the price will go higher, but it is worth it. What is the mission of Mystery Science? Mystery Science mission is to inspire kids to love science. Their aim is to reach children before they've lost their natural curiosity about the world 
and to inspire them to develop a scientific understanding of it. They are reaching hundreds and thousands of children this school year by helping tens of thousands of elementary school teachers to teach science. I hope you en enjoyed the presentation on mystery science and that your school gives it a try if you're already not using it. Thank you.